Shooty platformers are my comfort food when it comes to video games. Anyone can pick up and play, but there's still tons of variety from game to game. Here are the top 5 free 2D platformers on Steam you don't know about. Part 3 Gun Devil is a retro action platformer where you play as a devil rescuing his wife and other demon girls from Satan's Child and Pimp Legion Army. The game reminded me a lot of Shovel Knight in terms of level design as the enemies and hazards make you use your unique moveset to progress. You're able to jump and glide, ground pound which boosts your jump if you jump immediately after, and dodge which damages enemies and phases through hazardous beams. Every level adds in a new enemy or hazard to keep you on your toes. <laughs> There are two amazing boss fights in the game too that are challenging but satisfying to learn. Around levels you find chests which contain money that can be spent on new weapons from the boobs statue lady. Each of the weapons is distinct and excel in different scenarios. There are special weapons as well which you earn after defeating the bosses. The writing and story are excellent and fittingly edgy for such an outlandish premise. If you're looking for a polished action platformer with outstanding enemy and level design then I recommend Gun Devil. Hargrave is a Mega Man inspired action platformer where you navigate a mysterious labyrinth filled with strange robots. Levels are very challenging and you'll die hundreds of times throughout the game but checkpoints are forgiving only putting you back to the start of the screen you were on. You can also determine how challenging you want the game to be since you don't have to collect all the canisters, although some of them do boost your health. You're able to jump, shoot, wall jump, and dash, although the dash can only be done from a wall or on the ground. New weapons are unlocked every time you complete a stage and defeat the boss, which are fun to experiment with, as certain weapons can break through weapon-specific objects. Most stage hazards like spikes kill you in one hit, while enemies and bosses take chunks off your health. The boss fights are fairly simple but challenging, just like the stages. <laughs> If you're looking for an ultra precise platformer with tight controls and branching levels then I recommend Hargrave. Elevator is a 2D puzzle platformer where you have to die in order to escape an infernal hotel. The hotel is made up of interconnecting rooms like a metroidvania as you complete puzzle rooms in search of keys to progress. Puzzles are structured around dying which teleports your soul to the closest body around you if it's in range. At first you only have the pink guys which just do that, but you gain access to different colored bodies with unique abilities as you get further into the game. The blue guy creates a platform wherever he dies, the orange one explodes opening new paths, and the yellow ones can throw their heads to reach otherwise inaccessible areas. The pacing and level design are great since you're always playing with a new concept that gets progressively more challenging until the next one is introduced. There are different themed areas that introduce new platforming challenges as well. There are a few bosses but they're pretty lackluster since their attacks are super easy to dodge and they can be cheesed. Apart from a few combat flaws, the game feels like a complete package because of its brilliant levels, so if you're looking for a puzzle platformer with a unique mechanic centered around dying then I recommend Elevator. Overclocked is a free-flowing action platformer that blends platforming and combat to create rhythmic levels. The game may not be the prettiest, but my god is the gameplay solid. You play as this girl named Amber who can double jump, wall jump, and punch one time in the air to navigate levels. Every time you kill an enemy while airborne, you get another punch charge, meaning you can chain together movements mid-air as long as you're killing enemies. The game has several chapters and each one introduces new enemies and mechanics within the level design. There's EMP beacons that grow bigger and smaller that you have to avoid, spikes that move up and down every time you jump, lasers that rotate around, areas where you can't use your punch, breakable beacons that invert gravity, and more. Levels are always interesting because of the new gameplay elements introduced, making every challenge different. In most levels you have to kill all the enemies and reach the goal, but some levels have you kill enemies within an arena. There's a boss fight at the end of of every chapter that's themed around whatever gameplay mechanic was introduced, and you have to be extremely careful in both levels and fights since you always die in one hit. The story is pretty bad but easily skippable, so if you're looking for a methodical action platformer with movement based combat then I recommend Overclocked. Keek is a puzzle platformer where you use a special force to change the dimensions of objects. Entire levels are contained in a single screen and some have checkpoints partway through the level. 
you're armed with this aimable interdimensional flashlight gadget that aids you in solving the puzzles. If you activate it while on a solid gray platform, you're able to phase through it, while the opposite happens for these glitchy platforms. There are also moving platforms that can be slowed down while the beam is on it or stopped altogether. Lastly, there are hourglasses that move a platform down, allowing you to reach the exit for a brief moment. Figuring out how to manipulate platforms in conjunction with your jump and dash is super satisfying as you dodge one hit kill spikes. If you're looking for a brain twisting puzzle platformer about manipulating platforms, then I recommend Keek. Two bonus games! You Have 10 Seconds 2 is a challenging 2D platformer where you only have 10 seconds to beat each level. Its gameplay is just like the first game, which is also amazing and free. There's a total of 11 worlds, each with their own theme and gimmicks. Some of my favorites include teleporters, invisible blocks, glue that prevents you from moving on the ground, and a shrink ray that makes you and your jump smaller. Every level is contained inside the same box, meaning you can always see the entire level. If you're looking for a fast-paced precision platformer with excellent level design, then I recommend you have 10 seconds too. Cave Crawler is a side-scrolling action platformer where you explore caves filled with enemies and platforming challenges. It's a fairly simple game as all you can do is jump and shoot to kill enemies. <laughs> There's a nice level of challenge as some of the jumps can be very tight. New enemies are added in every level to keep you on your toes with a final boss at the end. If you're looking for a simple but satisfying platformer, then I recommend Cave Crawler. Those were the top 5 free 2D platformers on Steam you didn't know about. Part 3 I'll have part 1 and 2 to this video as well as my playlist of free Steam games you don't know about linked in the description. Thanks for watching, give me money on Patreon, and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with this ongoing series. Let's go!